Hey there, I'm your host Lasoi, and in today's video I'll show you how to create an array of colors which you'll be able to use to customize any of your characters and give them a unique look. So let's begin. Go to your content drawer and find the character you want to use. So for me it's going to be bp underscore brute and if I double click and go to my construction script here will be the place where I set these parameters. So first of all, we need to know which material we want to use. So one good way to check, if you go to your skeletal mesh, you'll have something called a material slots. So instead of here, we have element zero all the way, to how many materials you have. And I know that for this character, the pants are element two and body is element seven. Now this is important because if you don't send the right element, uh, the color will be in the wrong place. So even for example, if I wanted to change the axe, I can see that this is silver. So it probably will be element zero. So let's click X and go to the textures and find the pants. So we have uh, pants over here. If I double click inside of this, I can then create a parameter called a scalar parameter. I'm going to call this brightness and the value will be 1.0. From here, I'm going to hold down M and press the left mouse button twice for two multiply nodes. And then once again, I'm going to get a parameter. Uh, this one will be vector parameter. And I'm going to call it color. Then what you want to do from the first one, connect it into A. Then the outcome of the first multiply node will go into base color. The B value will go into the outcome of the second multiply node. Then the color will go into A and B will go into the RGB for the texture sample. Then one more thing, double click on the color and set it all the way to white. Press OK, then we can apply and save. So that's us essentially done with the material. Uh, now let's create the material instance. So if I find the pants again, create material instance. So this is what we'll use for our uh, color. So I'm going to call it pants underscore zero one. And I'll create a duplicate and one more duplicate just to show you. So um, this one, press OK for brightness, press OK for color. And the color I want will be blue, for example. And if I'm not happy with the brightness, I can always just increase this slightly. Press OK. Then let's go to our second pants. This will be the brightness color again. And let's say I wanted an aqua color. And again, I'm not happy with the brightness, so we can increase that a little bit. Then for my third pants, um, let's say I want something like pink. Once again, not happy with the brightness. Increase it a little bit. Then we can exit from these. And if I wanted to change my body, we can do that as well. So this says body underscore MAT4. So double click into this and the same principle applies. So I could even, uh, to make my life easier, I could go into the pants and just copy these nodes. Control C. And in my body, we can paste this and just hook it up. So A will go into the base color and B will go into RGB. So I can hit apply and I can hit save. Then let's exit and in my body let's create a material instance called body underscore zero one and let's create one more so just duplicate this and let's say the second one i want to be a darker color so let's go for something like black like so press ok in my construction script of the brute I'm going to drag the mesh, which is the character mesh, and I will do set skeletal mesh asset. So you don't need to do this step, but let's say you have a brute with an axe and a brute without an axe. So if you'd like to place both these assets, this would allow you to randomize that. So just to show you how this would work, if I connect this to the outcome and for the mesh, I'm going to select brute because that's what we're using. And then what I will do, I will create a variable. So I'm going to promote this to a variable, call it skeletal ref, break the node. And if I convert this to an array, um, then we can compile and save. And 
this will be if I create a parameter this will be my brute so it should allow me to compile now and let's say you had more of these guys so an axe or a brute without an axe and a brute with an axe so you'd be able to use both of them and it would randomize it for you so from here we would get a length then I would get a random integer and then once again I would get a copy and then if we connect all of this we'd connect it into the new mesh over here so now to show you how to create the color from here we can do create dynamic material instance and same principle applies let's create a variable and this variable I want it to be the pants so it'll be called pants ref and for the type I'm going to create material instance and let's get a object reference nope that oh yeah it did so uh, compile and save and if I drag it on the screen get it we're going to create length again then get a random random integer and let's get a copy connect this like so and then inside of my pants reference let's create three elements and select the colors we've just created so uh, here I have a bit more um, yeah I have the body and I have the pants so let's select pants uh, aqua and pink and connect it here and remember because this was uh, element 2 in the skeletal um, mesh this should be 2 and body was number 7 so um, let's create another one but before we do uh, this has a problem that's because I didn't connect the mesh over here now if I compile and save this should work so just to show you if I drag my brute on the screen and create another one it'll randomize the pants so to change the skin color let's go once again into our construction script and we can copy this Control c Control v and instead of our pants I want to use the body so I'm going to delete this create another variable called body under or body ref then it's also going to be a material instance and if I get it connect here and here then for the elements let's create two because that's what we have body one body two and if I set the element index to seven and then compile and save everything should work and our brutes should get different colors i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing